Welcome back everyone. Um, it's been three months, it's been quite a while. Um, I really didn't think that it had been, but time flies when you're having fun charging and discharging batteries. Um, so, finally got through uh, 500 laptop batteries. Um, I've got about 80 cells left to charge um, that are sitting waiting to be, to be charged. So it'll be interesting to see how many of those turn out to be good cells. And then I suppose I'll do an update video in about a few days time. Um, and just see what kind of the numbers are and the percentages of them that are I suppose dead cells so out of the 500 laptop batteries there's about 3,000 plus cells um, each one of those cells was charged and tested um, and then pretty much put into piles so what I'll do um, and I'll just cut the video as this plane goes over I reorganize the camera and I'll just show you through what I've got right YouTube so um, back again what I've got at the top here is I've organized them just in groups of um, 200, mainly because it's the easiest way for me to just put them on the shelf and see how many batteries I've got. Um, it's not obviously how I'm gonna do my packs or anything like that, it's just to indicate um, how, how, thing, uh, how things are going and how many cells I'm kind of getting to. Um, so these are in groups of 200, so it is um, 10 sets along the bottom um, and they're about 20 deep, I think. Um, in fact, I'll just cut the video and count that. <laughs> so, yes, that's 200 at the bottom, and then another 200, and then 140. So we're almost up to the next 200 at the block, which will bring us to around 600, or that'll bring us to 600 cells. 600 cells is really what I wanted to get to. That'll be just over five kilowatt hours, and that will be, um, and every cell here is over um, two amp hours. So some of them are, a two ones, some of them are two twos. Obviously, there's some t um, some two thousands in there, or just over two thousands. Um, there's some twenty fives. Um, there isn't too many twenty fives. I would most likely say the average will probably work out to be around twenty one hundred. So, this first pack of five kilowatt hours will be um, full of really good cells. Um, and I suppose that's really good to get to. I would have really liked to get obviously more than you know, almost 600 cells. Um, but a lot of them have come down to the, the next kind of um, bracket that I had, which was 1800 to just under 2000. So what I've done is I started making a second lot, um, just like the first pack up or first lot of packs up here. I fir um, the, the second lot, which would be in its, um, in its own kind of bank. This will be, um, these are 1800s. Um, as I said, all the way up to 1920s, 1980s. Um, so these are really good. They're, they're pretty much not much difference to the ones above, and they could potentially be in the same um, group, but or the same bank. But I'd rather get to 600 here, get to five kilowatt hours, um, create one um, bank or big yeah, bank of these, and then create a second bank full of these ones here that are. Uh, obviously just below I've also so there's so I'm getting close to the um, um, I'll just mute the video while the plane goes over so just a sec so I'm just really under I'm just under 400 batteries here or just 400 cells here um, I obviously want to get to 600 before putting this also um, into a bank these what I'll be doing is not these ones here will be at 600, 600 cells for one bank. These ones here will be more. Uh, I've done some calculations. I don't have the spreadsheet in front of me. Um, it's more like 670 or 700 cells of these type will be equivalent to 600 of these. Uh, obviously slightly lower amp hours, slightly more cells are needed to get the same um, kilowatt hour rating. Um, what I've also got down here is um, quite a few 1700s. Um, these are kind of 1700s to, 18, uh, to 1800s. Um, there's around 200 and something cells uh, spread between these two ice cream con containers. So these could easily be put with this um, pack here to bring this bank up to 600, um, well almost to 600. Um, I've also got around 400, I would suggest maybe a little bit more, um, of the cells here which are 1500s to 1699s. Um, they, I'm getting quite a few of these um, and with the last packs that I seem to be doing I seem to be getting more and more of the 1500s and 1700s and slightly less and less of, of these ones here and 
I'm not getting as many of these. So I'm obviously down the, the bottom of, I have been down the, the bottom of the, um, the good quality batteries um, that I got given. And um, it's really affecting obviously um, this workflow to get, get these packs finished or these banks finished. Um, I've got um, down the, on the side here, um, you can't really see it, the lights, so I'll just spin the camera around. Uh, what I've got here is these are anything under a thousand amp hour, oh, so anything under one amp hour or a thousand, um, I've been putting in the bin. So one, if it doesn't meet the cut of a um, complete minimum of a thousand, then it gets thrown away. It's absolutely pointless, no point of keeping cells like that. Um, these are a thousand to fifteen hundred and I've got this whole set up here which is um, quite a few deep um, and I've also got this this box here which is it's probably got about 600 cells in this box here and probably at least another 300 up here um, maybe 250 300 around here so there's quite a few of these cells that are adding up really not too sure what I'm going to do with them um, on that thought I'll just wait until this plane goes over so just a sec yeah so really not too sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, obviously there's there's quite a few of them, I'm going to probably get to seven or eight hundred of them. Um, that's that's still a lot of grunt, uh, well still a lot of capacity. Um, you know if they were, if that was 3.7 volts at 800 plus amp hours, that's one pretty powerful little battery. Um, so I, I don't really want to throw them away, there must be something I can do with them. Um, thinking that the um, the battery holder idea um, that other YouTube channels uh, are doing might be a good uh, thing for these cells where I could you know some of these are um, you know there's some 1470s not all of them are, are really low um, but there must be something I can do with them there's just so many of them um, and what I've got down here um, and interesting uh, this is going to get quite interesting when we kind of count them um, I don't really want to but this whole wall here, uh, which is pretty much the bottom of the shelf, and if I move these out, you'll actually be able to see the bottom. Um, this whole shelf here is full of dead batteries. Um, so I don't know how many there are. Um, I'm kind of loath to count them all. Um, there's those ones there in this box here because I ran out of space, obviously, right at the top almost. Um, I've started throwing them in this box. So these are all cells that are um, that just don't meet the cut at all so they're either under a thousand or they're just they're just dead they don't charge they heat up they just crack so there's quite a few obviously that are dead that was to be expected um, obviously the dead laptop uh, you know the old laptop batteries um, really quite surprising though getting of you know I've obviously got quite a large amount um, I suppose all together between these between the 1700s the 1800s and these ones up here the, the 2000 plus um, you know there's pretty much 10 kilowatt hours there um, I'll just mute the video while the plane goes over again so um, I live right nice and close to the uh, well not that close but on the flight path to the Auckland Airport in New Zealand and which is the main international airport and at 4:30 at night um, it's pretty much plane after plane after plane uh, you don't notice it at all until you're trying to video something um, so yeah I must say you know, apologize for that um, it was quite frustrating um, to keep turning the video on and off um, so as I was saying between the um, these top cells the 1800s and the 1700s um, you know there's there's almost um, 10 kilowatt hours just there um, not even taking into the account the 1500s to, to these um, which is what three or four hundred there um, so have we met the 10 kilowatt hours out out of 500 laptop batteries I would say the answer is yes yes we've we've managed to get that capacity um, when it comes down to um, you know is it going to be all high quality um, laptop batteries yeah the answer is probably no um, the I'm happy that I'm, I'm getting to five um, kilowatt hours here I'm happy about that I'm happy that I'm almost going to reach another five kilowatt hours of you know almost as good batteries and remember that 1800 compared to, to 2000 there's, there's pretty much no difference in there it's only 200 milliamps um, it's, it's not much which m really makes you think when you when you start looking at it like that um, these cells here that are 
that are much lower capacity, obviously 500, 600, uh, 16, 5, uh, 1500, 1600. These cells here are not that far off um, 2 amp hours. Um, so you know, even if you, even if I was to create a pack um, and put um, one and a half times more cells and use these ones down here, um, you know, it's 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 got to be good. Um, it's 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 going to be usable. So yeah, in the meantime, obviously the focus is finishing this, finishing 600, um, getting these put into into groups, and um, starting to charge them, solder them up. Um, and get them going. Um, I'm obviously three months down the track and we've come so far. Um, obviously I've got cells coming out of my head. Um, I'll just quickly talk about um, my discharges again just very quickly. I'll just pause it for a second. So the discharges are going really well. Um, I ended up blowing up one of these ones here by putting the cell in the wrong way. Um, I knew it was going to happen, um, I'm surprised it didn't happen um, more often obviously but um, it, because it's just so easy to do but yeah I've, I've destroyed that one there. I've, I've got another 22 of them um, that are sitting in a pile so I can easily replace that. At this stage it's, there's no big need um, but what I've also got is this discharger here. So currently I've got um, six discharges running. I've got my IMAX B6, I've got the four other ones that I've got beside my, my bed and I've also got um, this one here, this is a much much gruntier one, this will do just under 10 amps. Um, it's got a bit more control, it's obviously digital, um, but the reason I actually got this one here is um, for the videos la later down the track because each of my um, packs that I'll put these into, so a bit like the HB power wall where he's put them in groups of 80 cells and 7 times 80 what I'd like to do is when I put mine in packs is to capacity check each pack just so that I can make sure that each of the, the individual packs um, are roughly around the same capacity because that at the end of the day is going to help with balancing so if you've got packs that are quite reasonably around the same um, amp hour rating then it's going to be far easier to um, to balance them than it would be to have packs of, of varying um, capacities. So I'll just put you back on the stand very professionally. And um, so I suppose that's really it for me at this stage. Um, I will flick you another update um, very shortly. Um, to do an update, I'm going to move the car out of the garage. Of it's been raining, it's been crazy, so um, it's it's good to be um, to doing an update. I'm sure everyone's happy that um, they're finally seeing a new video on the channel, which is great. Um, it's been fantastic seeing um, other projects that are pretty much finishing, and um, I'm really happy to kind of really get onto the soldering and and get onto the um, the charging and, and putting these these packs or these cells into packs and, and starting to create um, my own DIY Powerwall. So um, over the next week I'll do another update on um, these last 80 or so cells um, and just seeing how much closer we are to, to getting to 600 cells um, and just seeing I suppose how many of the different um, cells we've actually got out of 500 laptop um, batteries or out of the 3,000 cells, how many of them actually turned out to be good 2 amp power cells? How many of them did turn out to be the um, the 1800s and, and below? Um, not really wanting to count the, um, the dead pile, um, but it's obviously going to be a thousand something, maybe two. Um, so yeah, update coming soon, and um, thanks again for watching.